ability and doesn't seem to be now we have an amazing matchup nemesis yeah, against the new ag jl otta lutano julian overlord only overlord remains on ag everyone else got swapped out and we have lutano in ag can you believe it Kind of counter pick that speed GT already in over. The GT run Nemesis lasted one tournament. We have a Sableye! We have a Sableye. Rex bringing it out. Oh boy. We have a match. What does IG last pick even here? Something that doesn't. Not Azum Ebre, right? I was about to say. Gyarados? A Gyarados. Interesting. Is gonna be in the mix. All right. I'm so excited to Lisa, watch this, this yeah, is some drift. <laughs> you believe you're making it through. It is, Left side we have, I mean, right, Sableye with Vish Umbreon. It does work, right? Uh, waterfall buffs will have a shut down this is Lutano or is Overlord top? I guess they probably swap around depending on Pokemon they pick. Okay, makes sense, yeah. They're gonna adjust. Go but they have the Gyarados against Blaziken. I mean, it's good for Gyarados because he gets early game. What is Sableye gonna do? Just be annoying? Okay, he's just actually gonna fight the Magikarp. Or can they KO him? He Jack button already gone, but he baited him. We have Otta playing Razor Leaf. Nice, nice, nice. I like it, I like it. What? Huh? He's not killing Blaziken? Build on this so no he goes for the last hit over the KO on Blaziken. Interesting. I mean, sure. I guess he didn't expect to be able to kill Blaziken, but. No, Zakrax on a different team now, too. And Zakrax's team is currently in the grand final, waiting for one of these two teams. So, Gyarados is right around the corner. If they can hit this before the eight minute mark, you have to consider that a big time win. You can see how close they are. Four players are up there babysitting. Tunnel playing Icy Wind. I like it. Right on top of he eats at half HP, so Luminosity is uh, doing what Nemesis does. Icy Wind, Razor Leaf. But we have Leaf and going down. Oh, yikes. Yikes. And Overlord just splashing around his magic up. Does he get a KO? Oh my god, if he gets the Sableye there. He wants him, he wants the Sableye. No, he doesn't get it. He was 1 HP. Aye, aye, aye. Getting three knockouts is massive. Now Otter is going to stress the resource on the side of Nemesis. Oh, it's terrible for AG. He's going to go down too. What members there? That is the power of Sableye. If you have coordinated follow-up, when you go and... I don't know what happened to Slash. No idea. It's a long time, Zoinks. Right. That boosted Otto before it as well to get that fear combination. The chain no clue. crowd control that Sableye has... Now we have the Gyarados, but they're already so far behind on experience. Trust me. So far behind. I'm the master, okay? I've been putting in some... Hours. It is uh, it is a difficult Pokemon to get that combo always on lock. Rex, though, is this our no first North American like super team? AG now? Do we consider the super team? We do, there. right? Has NA ever had a super team before? I don't think so. Gyarados goes down. I mean, it's a super team, right? But I think NA never had like something like this before. First as well, so Gyarados has no mobility moves available to it. Instead, it has to just naturally walk out of that imprisoned targeting area, and it's right into Mean Look and of course Trainer just constantly. Super so teams really work, I know. Get that KO. Huge Doesn't work in Europe either. Side, but the very least, they always got the silver lining is Otter being a nuisance this whole game. The enemy central area has never been less safe. Yeah, I mean the raw mobility that Leafeon has allows Otter to pretty safely contest when nobody is in the neighborhood. Last Otter's time being annoying. Rex Can they take him down again? Four members are there, but he's just gonna go for uh, Sableye. Doesn't have enough damage. No it's just so noisy. It's no just so no point in chasing this Leafeon bit around. It's so of this waste of time. All right, so Otter gonna have to retreat all the way. I wonder how Nemesis is gonna play team fights though without a real healer. I mean, wish wish he had so much though now. Sableye is gone. But he's zoning enough. What is the Sableye wish healing? 
I love what Rex is doing there. They're in the face of Kerosene Lutana, I didn't get out too much, but really they get Sableye at right least, but I mean, that's not really down. enough. They were just, they weren't even pressing their buttons. They were just literally just running in their face. Lutano couldn't get an Icy Wind on a premium target, and yes, Rex goes down. I don't think the Chandelure is that strong, though. Like, Chandelure against Leafion is a terrible matchup. And Gyarados, too. It's so easy in late game fights for, like, Gyarados and Leafion to just get on Chandelure. And they're gonna get rid of Licky at least. Yeah, I mean, it's look, looking bad for Ezio this far. And get some experience because they it's still bounce and dragon breath. Team fights this game. Yeah, now they're collapsing on top of Lutano on this Glaceon. You know, there's a lot of oh, purple uh, Nemesis dots around uh, <laughs> around that Lutano character chart here. But now Slowbro's sitting on path. They're looking to push. Telling on United's out. They're oh, sitting on top of auto jumping in. Straight to the back line. Can he get onto? On yeah, there we go. See, I mean, that's what that's what's what shit. Oh, snipe shot. Snipe shot on the backside by Yee. Holy. And now this push can actually continue if they want to. I see wind right on metallic. Egg bomb for the spacing. And Nemesis looks like they're going to save. You would have gotten Sable otherwise. Is what? No, waterfall is probably allowed. I just it's just not. On their mini -map I bounce right is still very good too. No, he missed the dragon breath. Overlord. Overlord. Ay, ay, ay. Overlord is down. More like Underlord. Can we call him Underlord if he messes up? Or do we call it Jovalord? I like Jovalord a lot too. We need a name. Either Underlord or Jovalord. Jovalord for sure. That's a good one. This is a player that is constantly knocking on yeah. the door of level 12 in a moment like this, but being held down by Nemesis is such a fantastic way they're playing. Hey, Joe, one of the slurries. I think that's a great name for when he messes up. He's going in. Oh, he's still level 11. Oh, he can find a huge knife, maybe. He's going for Blaziken. Blaziken, Blaziken getting away. They actually got Leafeon. And Leafeon got destroyed by the Shindu Unite. Losing vision there. Oh, the way he back Metallic! Takes him into the wall. Ah, oh, Lutano's trying, but he doesn't have any icy wins up. Terrible fight for G. Terrible. This team is now. Luminosity had every response and every single one fell short. We are now going to be so big. There's something about this. No, what does sound again? Running, Plus, that Regirock defense buff is going absolutely crazy for E fan. Hi, hi, hi. To retreat back to their base. There is no reason that Italian should still be standing. This is a so much more experience now. Who times also only 11 and a half? Like 11 and a half, I see even Glaceon doesn't do that much. Like it wants to be 13, 14 instead, late game. I feel like for to do lock damage. 40 points as well for Sableye. Sneaking in some lead points. Can they dive this? Umbreon. That's good goal break here if they get 40 in. They do get 40 in. They give it over to Lutano. Nice. That's good for experience. Lucy stopped the score just to give it over to Lutano. Exactly, and Ethan, you see them immediately pivoting to get that free experience. They don't have their Unite move. So now he's gonna at least hit like 13. On on that side. 13 doesn't matter for abilities, but it's just a lot more stats. Right. Hit. Very, very fantastic. We have Rexy. <laughs> oh, wow, that score! Thanks, DDD. This little red. And they will do so. Rex gonna be back in 13 seconds. Is that actually it worth it, though? Was it kind of the nice? Is that even worth it? It denies a big back cap he could do, right? So, is it worth it? I don't even know. I guess he can score and then we base, maybe now. It's also annoying, yeah. It's, it's tits, right? It's meant to advantage. I don't know, but it's funny. <laughs> True. Competitive setting is unbelievably strong, and it looks so so good when a player funny. the caliber of trainer is playing. You can change so many stuns too between the oh. slow beam on top of the Shadow Lord. Trainer, LGC, but they're able to eject out. The he actually gets was early. no, he double clicked this unite move for what? Awkward, but they can't KO him. On the side of what? Them, Where's the follow up? I mean, I don't know if you... Oh, there's there's Otter. Yeah, he found Italian. He still has Unite too, but oh, there's a huge in prison. Metallic, Metallic check but no safety. This fight's awkward, but Luminosity should win right now. There's three Unites left. There's three Unites. This can go for Unite, Gyarados, and Blissey assistance. This assistance? What is the... Oh! 
that was disgusting to watch. Bruh, what is that? That missus doesn't even hit. He was so late on it. And it didn't even hit back Barter. Ben's right. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Oh boy. <laughs> Lift the chance to nah. This is surely game. Yeah, this is game. Saber Lace has a shield too. Oh, finally we get to see Trainer's Leafion. That's what I want to see. The Trainer Leafion. So what's Overlock gonna pick here? Agent Slash! Okay, he brings out the Agent Slash. I am Exus either gonna go super good or super badly. There's no in between. Why does Otto have Golgatta equipped? <laughs> what, has he, what has he been doing in solo queue? Yeah, I, I, I saw that Golgatta Otter. I saw it. What, hey, Otter, what have you been doing in solo queue, buddy? Is that going to be a Comfey? Ooh, it's going to be a Comfey. Oh, Nemesis comp looks so scary. That looks very scary. Blaze can blast his Intellion Leafy and Comfey. Why? I feel like this game is going to be exciting. I don't know what to expect from this. Right, the Aegis Slash? Yeah, LG does it's going to be interesting. On their side of the battlefield currently, which is fine early game. For the most part. Um, one cool tech that I see oh, what's already dropping a lot. And he's going to get Leafeon. Um, he is going to so get Leafeon. Uh, Leafeon actually going bot lane. Leafeon's going to ignore top fully. He actually goes, okay, he's going to clear jungle. He really is that Espion is not aggressive, so he just goes to bottom to get more experience. And now bot lane doesn't even know about this either. I think Leafeon is top lane, so he's going to get chaos here. Let's see if they can get Otter. Oh, Ripper for his XP. That's going to be KO, right? Otter is missing a fire. He's actually alive. No, Yeet goes in. Yeet. And now he's going to go down. Okay. Tano's a bit careful here. Ben is looking forward. He has boost out tech ready. He's not going for it, though. He already... He, well, he paid. Sorry for the Umbreon skin. Wow. He actually fully paid for the skin. That is fast. Defender, Defender mains are so, like, like starved of content, they just instantly pay for better pass skin. Really That's how much defenders are just staffed. I, I Me and my support players are even worse. So. <laughs> they they don't even get skins get either for support mains. Yeah, I wonder if Comfy's gonna go more on. Is she? Oh, okay. The EVs are running down the other EV. Evil boss. Uh, EV boss. Yeet on the chase down. Ah, uh, Lutano tried to be on the jump pad, but missed up. Okay. Okay. He just has on his way to level 7, but still needs quite a while. So that goes to in here. I assume he's going to go White God, right? I mean, it's going to be Iron Head. Otter? Great engagement on Otter. That's a quick KO. They're looking to pivot. It was a 4v3, now it's a 4 v He's gonna go in if he has level 7, he's dead. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's four members up here as well. Like, <laughs> Even if he gets level 7, he might be dead anyways. I'm not using level 7 either. He has to take jungle now. What is AD? He's just... Uh, yeah. They can do 18, 18, comfy detaching. Oh, they, go, uh, they can also let Blaziken stack. Actually, I think Blaziken stack is... Really? No? Let him stick? You, don't, you have no time pressure. You have zero time pressure. Let him stick? Or let Comfy score first and then get down to one point. Anyways. I think I just think that AG is going to make it to top lane somehow, but... Okay. 
more moments like that from trainer throughout this series. Overlord level 9 just picked up their Unite move. Italian Unite is out. Oh, but he already took one snipe shot and can't fight anymore. Right, he's back to full HP. Wait. They want to prioritize another target. Trainer LGC sees he's getting rushed and... So and that that's where they're going. Coup de Gras tries to find a mark, but nobody gets KO'd. But the sword is How uses his Aegis Slash? Oh, man. And we'll see if they look to push. Just Again, see, like, someone's always... You can't Aspel. Unite move as Aegis Slash. Slash. That's exactly what happens. You Unite move, you die instantly. But if I play Aegis Slash, someone is like, Chris, do you just play without Unite move? Yes. Because you can't team fight with Aegis Slash Unite. It's so pathetic. <laughs> you just can't fight with it. You die in its animation every single time, I swear. It takes so long to come out. If it's so bad. I understand why Chris said that. Yeah, you just night moving on Aegis Slash is awful. I he just in shield form. He's just gone. Breaking it down, Joey pivoting back a little bit. They're sitting in those recently blue. Yeah, the nah. Tracks on. Do you want to jump in front nah. of those? Nah. Oh. Yeah, that team. Man, uh, Nemesis that has such a annoying drift. Out of here, a warning sign <laughs> yeah, from Nemesis. Yeah, I wouldn't have fun playing against this either. Oh, maybe, maybe now. Age slash. He's going in. He's going in. He's unite moving. And he's dead. He got one KO though, at least. Could be worse. Could be worse. I don't know what the Mystic of Fire Sylvian is here supposed to do, just to live against Leafion, I guess. I don't know what it really. But what was. What happened to Sy. Wait, what happened to Leafion? Uh, Sylvian. Wait, what? What happened to Sylvion? Did I get grass knotted? Did I get grass knotted onto the Ataria? But. but but sword already got buffed this is the buffed sword one second cooldown on sacred sword it's broken now it's broken man one second cooldown. Luminosity has been having a surge of success in that top side. We have, of course, Lutano and Aegis Levits are looking terrible. 11, 11, 10, 10. Where for Aegis Slash now? Both these teams playing very North America Western style. You get a success, you retreat back, you farm up, you get that level lead. We're playing it safe, we're playing for that final fight. In this case, good work by both teams. Why would you pick Sword? I mean, he's a good Aegis Slash, but the Pokemon is so class. I mean, what else is, what, what else is even there? I feel like... In the middle, like and Altaria, that both I think he just theoretically have an thinks that like sword into Blaziken and Leafion sounds pretty good on paper, right? That's two thirds of the available experience. You're gonna be very happy with those odds. Now we have Luminosity rotating around. It doesn't sound too bad. And he has lot of protection. He has Edegos. He has Wish. Seems have some interesting choices to make. If you catch somebody roaming, you can get in a very quick. Like I don't think it was necessarily. I think I I see it why why he went for it. But you could look for an early it's just so weak. So conscious of where that blast voice is. Let's see if I'm a team fight. Yeah, they just saw Metallic. You occasionally pops off on Age Slash. So, like, goal zone and look at this. This is a gargantuan. But Nemesis is just very good. No shot coming back in this fight. And that's the target they're looking at. Oh, no. GG. What a trip by AG. They didn't even touch Ray to play. They have to go for Ray. Oh, what else going in? White Guard onto Leafion. You can chase him down, maybe. Or does he go too deep? No. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Do they lose three against five now? They have no Unites left. Oh, what? Nah, he doesn't chase him down. They're going for Yitfen. I mean, going for Yitfen is huge. Okay. Okay. What are they gonna do to adjust? He finished out for yeah, 30 I mean, seconds. Oh, that grass knot! The what are these face checks? 
damage. Asable also rallying back. They were able to escape and actually recall back to base. So no respawn timer for Asable. That was absolutely Oh, then you take part my loose in the game. They have to recall. This might be LG's big chance to push. The 10 seconds. One tell you. Just use their eject button for overheat that didn't hit anybody. Surf comes through. We're trying to hit on Ray, but Asable gets absolutely gutted by the 3v1. Now Otter's playing forward. I think LG can take this. They have Aegis that she knight. This is the time Aegis that she knight. This is it. Well, he's just going for Blaze again. I like it. 45, they're playing it slow. They just have to block Snipe Shot. No, Overlord, so 1 HP. But he's going to heal up. Where's the Knight move? Oh, he gets it. There we go. Man, what a... Maybe we into a third game. That was something, definitely. That was the game. What's Overlord going to bring out this time? So this time he has the Blaze again. Okay. Now Nemesis wants the Gyarados. They go for the Gyarados. Now the Shenlu Trainer again gets Leafeon. Lutano considering a Gardevoir here. Gardevoir into this? Into Leafeon and Gyarados? I don't like it. Don't pick Gyarados. Don't, please don't pick Gardevoir. Oh, maybe a Jungle Blastoise? I could still be top lane. Overlock and Jungle Blaze again. And, uh, I mean, I want to see Rapid Spin here, no? I do like it, I do like it. Sure. Very difficult yes. for Livia, no, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm not sure if the Sylveon game, fits into this, but... I think the Sylveon is their weakest build, link in this game. I like Sylveon. But in this draft, the Leafeon doesn't feel too... Uh, the Sylveon doesn't feel too great. I think it's the weakest link. But the rest? Pretty good. Okay, it's Lutano to watch top path. Overlord taking the same center area with Blaziken. Makes sense. Oh, I'd like to see him absolutely struggle again, but yeah, I mean, it makes the most sense. Let's see what bait Lutano's gonna go for. I mean, I think every single... Blastoise bait is good here, right? Everything a bit is good here. But up against Gyarados, I feel like he can allow to go Water Spout. Was it early game's not as bad, but Shrain is already here. Classic. But I feel like, do you guys think the Sylveon is going to struggle? He's already lit 5 though, I mean. Is this time it's high? No, it's Mystic of Fire again though. Really? Yeah, GG's damage is awkward later on. Ah, they need to go, I feel like they need to go Water Spell Rapid Spin. Now. Right? How they do roll allotments, right? We see they have to go the the central, we see Lutano in top, we see that flex constantly between these two teams. Let's get with the blue buff. It's gonna be oh, nice gank though. The first KO of the game. This is the uh, rotation towards yeah, top from the bot attacker. Nice. This is, this is what Nemesis did. <laughs> We're getting very popular this rotation. Yes, 100% is the highest percent. That rotation four players versus three is exactly what Nemesis did to LG when they had that okay. the top half last game. So worth noting that these teams are understanding the strategy. What well, so time to have when he has Hydro Pump, okay. Executing around that. Yeah, it is Hydro really Pump. To this A triple invade now. I have to see this aggressiveness though. Water is getting the KO. <laughs> Alright, they're just abusing the fact that Nemesis has Magic Cup early game. There's three people in the right side here. It's just an entire team fight. It's 4v3 now, but trainers back. They pick up Water, okay. They get a bit of Tavia as well for free. And G actually end up losing more of this. And Gyarados Evolution also done. And Overlord. Oh, what a nice eject button. But trainers going to chase him down. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh. Do you want to stay with the berry? Yeah. You can take it up. Eat fan has what bit this game? It's all right, yeah. Oh, the water hammer! The water hammer. Is every lane is viable now? Yes, it is. It's just so different, and I'm glad to see LG. It's a very fun bit too. Seems like a cut above when they're on this character. Yes, for they sure. finally I made a, a relay is viable. That last game was fantastic yes. as well, but this Trevenant, you mentioned a different cloth. They are so, so good at this option, and I'm loving it currently. Metallic on this Gyarados, though, has looked fantastic. We see Waterfall in now, right? Wait, AG picked up two more KOs. Yeah, AG is bringing the heat now. They see much more wake in this new third game. Yeah, LG is really stressing again the resources on the side of Nemesis getting to the central area. Specifically, Otter has kind of been sent on those missions. And the fact that they're able to kind of 
hang tough in these paths while always down a player in the, both lanes in a lot of situations is incredibly impressive. Yeah, Lutano trying to steal that one with a Hydro Pump. Gonna come up a little shy as Vitalik earns that Reggie Alecki. But that team, they really need those levels, like we mentioned. So now they won't play Aquatail. I mean, Aquatail is still just like, it's just too easily cancelled, man. EXP from the safe they need some sort of yeah, like... LG just taking this Reggie Alecki off the map. Way to guarantee it uh, coming out. Both teams have kind of settled in and haven't scrapped in a moment waiting for their right Like, how do you play? You play against Woodhammer, Surf, Hydro Pump? How are you ever going to get more than one Aqua Tail out, right? How? Oh, the W like for one Eldegoss KO. I mean, they were hoping for more, but... Nothing is up either. This is terrible for Nemesis. One K, one KO, two or two unites. It's fine if they would get like a goal out of it or points or an objective, but they get nothing out of it. If this is a two level disparity, you just get almost no experience. You barely feel it when you get a KO like that. You honestly get more from an Ndidi at that moment like that, right? So, uh, we do want to support... Did, what did Overlord, did he try to blaze it? Like, in the way of their did he try to do like a bus with combo on Blaziken? Or cause some problems again, like we saw in game one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just... That was close. Cutting off Overlord from securing just a wild piece of farm uh, to... Stymieing pushes right was pretty pretty close. I think that's what he tried to do. Like, I think he like right aimed now. down his blaze kick, eject button over, yeah, I just couldn't reach uh, anyone. Fantastic option. It's a lot he did something not sure what. I think that's what he tried to do. Still are quite used to do like a smackdown combo, you know. And what Buswood does. Probably blaze kick. I've never tried that before, actually. I wonder how we're like... The main central area player I mean, this server useful, I mean. They've been doing great. Now we have um, Nemesis is pivoting to the middle here. 4v3, 4v4. I just keep my eject button too, too much for overheat. Like, I I only want to use my overheat eject button together. That's what I turn a vision on. Maybe I shouldn't. Nice surf. Reject out of the horn leech back to their team. And that keeps Azadable very healthy as Regirock is doing the great Oh, the flamethrower is doing so much damage. A four match revenue unite, though. Oh, but Overlord is locked up. Can Eldegoss keep him alive? Yeah, Blasters unite is also huge. Oh, they got hit by two four men unite of defenders. And they're still alive. Heat fan finally down. Oh, but Leapion. What a dance. What an absolute dance move hit by Trainer LGC as they are smothering Lutano now. Otto does have unite. What is Otto? doing like how does he think he's gonna do anything there like <laughs> Shout out Rex for just being that die-hard support player. They see their Is he gonna try to like steal with a basic attack? And Rex I... just runs through Reggie Rock, multiple enemy Pokemon. <laughs> They're like, my job is that Leafeon, and they ignore everybody else to get there with this soft foiled absolute dedication that you love. Garros Unite. Well, here comes the Gyarados Unite spins up Overlord and you get one of these. Bounce. Nice Make it bounce. Make it drain breath. Okay. But he has high cooldown. No, he's not the bounce up. Alright, you unite moves those cooldowns are lower. Right. What's going on? It's like an Aram right now on bot lane. And now finally LG is backing up a little bit. Absolute Aram. Aram. Make a bounce. It's not baiting them or is Otter getting baited? Oh, the what? The one is just massive. Otter's playing so weird with this. But he's alive, but he wasted Unite. And I went from what both these teams were oh my god. It's so disgusting. The surf into Hydro Pump, into Horn Leech. Aye, aye, aye. Push on the lure. Playing against these two defender builds is not fun. Metallic just Unite move? Can they convert the KOs? No, they have to bounce out of danger. Yeah, I mean, Metallic's playing the bounce really well, right? You get that unstoppable keyword whenever you are channeling hmm. it, so they're able to ignore a lot of Ola the picks up a free Ridge Alecky. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but I just push up the second goal. Both of those have been great, but it feels like if we could have turned He's up about the backup. Around, that Unite move would have been in a right. huge Gyarados moment there, and now it's going to... I 
feel like there's so much strategy happening. It's just people, they're just throwing themselves at each other and hoping for the best. That's what it feels like or not. Then this guy overextends, they overextend, they overextend. What of this 14? He's 14, but he's up against slow, bro, so... Okay. They actually get the uh, one-hour cap in, nice. And Tala can look for a huge flank here. And Chandelure is, like, so difficult to play in this fight now. Where's he gonna get flanked? Yeah, he's gonna get flanked. Oh, boy. He's all oh, the surf. Into Inside Unite. Into Trevon Unite. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The Rutano flank is too good. And then he got his triple Unite moved. Slowbro could Unite. Blissey died in Unite move. Wait, Gaudos Unite though? Can he get it maybe? Now, right? Oh, wait, it's too early. Oh, wait, it's too early. Oh, wait, it's too early. Oh, he doesn't get it. Ooh. Yeah, they didn't know about the blast is playing. I mean, I don't know if they, have, they, have, they should be aware of it, but yeah. AG, who the grand final? 